So hello everyone once again welcome back to my channel JBR online classes and in this video I am going to start exercise 8.1 that means simple interest from the book of ML Agarwal. So here in sum number 1 find the simple interest on rupees 4000 at 7.5 percent per annum ok. So that means here principal that means P principal equal to 4000 and here rate of interest R equal to 7.5 percent for 3 years 3 month ok remember that that means here first you have to convert the month into years so here if N equal to your years that means 3 here so 3 plus and 3 months months mean 3 by 12 so that equal to 1 by 4 so 3 whole 1 by 4 years ok or that equal to 13 by 4 years also find the amount so first you have to find out simple interest you know the formula that is p into r into time that means n by 100 so that equal to here 4000 into 7.5 into 13 and 4 will be here so 100 into 4 okay so that equal to rupees 975 so that is your first answer and your amount will be you know that the formula principal plus interest that means 4000 plus 975 that equal to 4975 as your final answer now move on to the next sum what sum of money will yield rupees 170.10 as simple interest so here simple interest equal to 170.10 for time time t or n you can write down any one so 2 year 3 months that means here 2 whole 3 by 12 ok then 1 by 4 so it will be 9 by 4 9 by 4 years here rate equal to 6 percent and now you have to find out the amount that means principal ok so as here interest equal to p r t by 100 then principal or p equal to interest into 100 divided by r into t ok that means here i means here interest so 170.10 into 100 divided by r means 6 and t here 9 by 4 so 4 will be here ok so now if 170 in 0 0.10 into 100 it becomes 17010 into 4 divided by 6 into 9 ok divided by 6 into 9 so here 2 here 3 then if you divide 170 17010 17010 divided by 9 it becomes here 1890 then divided by 3 that equal to 630 ok so 630 into 2 that equal to here 1260 so 1260 is your answer ok now move on to the next sum so here next one is sum number 3 find the rate of interest when 800 fetches rupees 130 as simple interest so p equal to here 800 and si that equal to 130 for 2 years 6 month that means here t equal to 2 whole 6 by 12 ok that means 1 by 2 so it's 5 by 2 years now you have to find out rate of interest that means r so here you know the formula p r t by 100 that equal to interest that means 130 so from that here r equal to 130 into 100 and then divided by p into t as here p equal to 800 t equal to 5 by 2 so 5 here and 2 will be here so here 0 0 cancel out then 2 4 is the 8 then 5 to 10 5 uh, 6 sorry 5 to 10 then uh, 5 6 30 so now here 2 and here 13 so it's 13 by 2 ok that means 6.5 so 6.5 percent is your answer now next move on to sum number 4 
in sum number 4 find the time when the simple interest on rupees 3.3 lakhs okay 3.3 lakhs that means that equal to 3 3 1 2 3 4 four zeros so that is 3.3 lakh rate equal to 6.5 percent per annum and here the simple interest that means si equal to 75075 you have to find out the time okay so you know the formula prt by 100 that equal to simple interest so from that time equal to the formula will be i into 100 by p into r so you know that i i means simple interest so here 75075 then into 100 divided by p p means your principal 1 2 3 4 and here r means 6.5 so for this point there will be 110 so here 1 2 3 1 2 3 three zeros cancel out now you have 750 okay 75075 divided by 65 that equal to you can write down 1155 okay then 1155 divided by 330 it becomes 3.5 okay it's become 3.5 so that one equal to 3.5 that means 3.5 years is your answer now move on to the next one sum number 5 so here in sum number 5 find the sum of the money okay when the simple interest so here r equal to 7 whole 1 by 4 percent per annum okay 7 whole 1 by 4 percent that means that equal to 29 by 4 percent very easy here n or t equal to 2 whole 1 by 2 that equal to 5 by 2 years and here simple interest that means si or you can write down also i that equal to 2356.25 so now you have to find out the principal it's very easy prt by 100 you know that so it will be p equal to i into 100 divided by t or n equal to sorry n into r okay you can write down the time as n or as t as your choice so here i equal to 2356.25 into 100 then divided by here t t means time so 5 and 5 by 2 so 2 will be here and then here r r means 29 by 4 so 4 will be also here okay so now the first thing first thing is if 100 multiply with this one it becomes 235625 into 4 into 2 that means 8 and here 5 into 29 okay so first divided by 235625 divided by 29 and that equal to 8125 again 8125 divided by 5 that equal to 1625 so 1625 into 8 that equal to rupees 13000 so 13000 is your first answer now next one that will be some number of 5 1 and now some number 5 2 so here in some number 5 2 here the given rate given rate equal to 4 percent okay very good and here time 3 years 3 months that means 3 whole 1 by 4 okay so 13 by 4 years and next one final amount is here the final amount so amount equal to 11300 okay so as you know that the formula of amount that is principal plus interest okay so that means 1130 equal to principal plus interest means prt by 100 so here if p will be common then 1 plus r into t by 100 okay so from that 1 plus r means here 4 and t means here 13 by 4 so it will be 100 into 4 so 4 4 cancel out that means 1 plus 13 by 100 so that equal to 113 by 100 okay so p into 113 by 100 then p equal to 11300 into 100 by 113 so 
that equal to here 10,000 so 10,000 is your final answer so guys if you like my video please share this video and please subscribe my channel